Hello everybody, my name is Maddie and welcome back to my channel, but if you are new, Welcome to my channel. Before we get into everything today, first make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell to know when I post. It would just mean so much to me. And also follow all of my social media and check out my merch. I will put it in the description down below. Guys, today we are doing another makeup review sesh with Mad Dog. And today is the July, this month is the July Ipsy, which is my birth month. So this has been a long awaited one that I cannot wait to just crack open, cracking open a cold one with the boys, you know? What we usually do in this video is I'm gonna try out all five of these products, give my honest review, and do a full face of makeup, and that's it. Yeah, I don't know, like, I mean, if you've been here for a minute, you know that. First, what we're gonna do is look at L Bag, which is actually super bougie and cute. I really like this. This is one of my more favorite bags I've gotten from Ipsy, and it's the Stay Golden, and this is like kind of glittery gold stuff on it. It looks very nice. So now we are going to open up the little stinky bag and look at the little card that they put in it because you know they always just write me some sweet nothings. So it says stay golden this month everything you touch is turning to gold. Dust on your favorite highlight, pat on a shimmer shadow and let the world see you shine. Get into this month's theme at ipsy.com slash stay golden. Okay um so they talk about bronzer, they talk about oh like what's your type of finish you like? Do you like it dewy or do you like it matte? Bronzing 101, cool. We need some more coffee. I go to Starbucks so much to the point that the barista was like, something's, something's up with you, what's going on? And you know, I had a long talk with him in the drive-thru about like my breakup that I'm going through right now because I know uh, two videos ago I was like, oh, I'm not gonna tell you guys what's going on with me, but you know what, I don't care anymore. That's what's going on with me. And I'm actually doing pretty good now. So uh, thank you guys for like, you know, reaching out to me, talking to me and being so sweet. But even the Starbucks barista, my dude, Zach, if you're watching this, you know, thanks. I needed that talk this morning when I was like extremely hungover. <laughs> anyway, so the first product is the Glow On Fifth Beauty Keep It Handy Aloe Hand Cream. Nourish parched dry hands with soothing hydration. Infused with aloe leaf extract to help prevent inflammation and instantly soothe the skin. Instantly. Holy shit. Directions. Apply liberally. Apply conservatively. Apply far rightly. <laughs> <laughs> to clean hands in need of hydration massage until fully absorbed. It's for external use only, so don't be trying to eat this. So our glowing promise to you, they are cruelty-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, and I don't know how to pronounce this word. We're gonna look it up because you know what? I'm over me not knowing how to pronounce things. It's kind of embarrassing. I don't want to look stupid online. Okay, here we go. We are looking at how to pronounce this word. Just tell me how to pronounce it. Phthalates. Phthalates? Dude, I really thought it was phthalates. So it's phthalates? Anyways, it's phthalates free. Um, and it's formulated for all skin types. So let's crack this bitch open. And you know, if you know me, I love being a hydrated little whore. I really like this bottle. It's really cute, super shiny. It's like a nice sky blue, you know? Looking up at the cloud. We're just gonna put a little zhuzh on my hands. That's what it looks like. What does it smell like? very floral almost. I mean, it's supposed to have aloe in it. So like, I'm trying to see if I'm getting, it just smells like a lotion. You know what I mean? Like a basic hand lotion, kind of florally, that's it. It feels nice. I kind of put too much on. So I guess like, you know, what I usually do, put some on the bows, you know, those get dried up pretty quickly. Um, I'm getting like a little bit of a greasiness feeling, which I don't like. I kind of like it when it like, you know, soaks into my skin, but you know, that's more so just like a preference thing. I don't like it when my hands feel all slippery after putting on hand cream, but I mean, maybe that's just because I put on way too damn much. I am going to put on my primer, foundation, concealer, cream contour, powder, eyebrows, and then we're gonna come back because we have a little stinky eyeshadow palette, which it's been a minute since Ipsy has sent me one. I'm hyped because I don't do eyeshadow that much because I just am too busy to. Like, I don't like put on eyeshadow as much as I used to. So we're gonna do that and it'll be fun, you know, just going back to my roots. Okay guys, I'll be back. All right guys, so we have all this makeup on, we got some tape on, and now we get to try this eyeshadow palette, and I am so hype. Okay, so it is called Golden Hour by Beauty For Real. Never heard of them. Mango Butter Eyeshadow Palette. Inspired by the illuminating light from the golden rays of the sun, this richy toned eyeshadow palette features eight alluring shades with a versatile range of velvety mattes to shimmering metallics and toppers to create a sultry sun-kissed look. Infused with mango butter and vitamin E, each shade is packed 
packed with the highest quality ingredients to create buttery soft textures that blend seamlessly and can be layered in infinite ways for an unforgettable statement. Okay, cool guys. So let's open this up. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's very pretty. I'm a big fan. So this is what we are working with. We have a couple of different colors. I definitely want to try maybe that blue. So this one's called Reflection. Then we have Solstice. And then we have Ablaze, Golden Ray, Pink Sands, Horizon, Infinite, and Shadow. So we're going to have a good time with this. So first, I am going to grab my favorite brush that I use for doing like, you know, transition shades and just putting down like a base shade. And that is the JS8 brush. Um, it's just a big fluffy dude. And we are going to take this light brown called horizon and we're gonna start off by just like putting this down and i notice when you just put down like something like chill like this it makes all of the colors blend a little bit better um so we are going to oh thank god there's a mirror on here because i am too far away from my other mirror and so far it's definitely showing up with only a little bit on my brush which is nice and it's also blending very nice it doesn't look patchy it doesn't look weird it don't be having patchy the pirate type of vibes going on and we're just gonna do like a warm look maybe put the blue in there somewhere you know being all cute and shit right sweet so we just have something there to kind of like you know act as a little baby base um we're gonna get a little bit of a smaller brush this is the what's it called the js6 it's just a little bit smaller and we're gonna take this kind of like brick almost orangey brown and it's called a blaze and we're gonna start layering that on top of my crease seeing how it performs seeing how she does you know this is blending so nicely i can already tell this is a high quality palette sometimes when you never heard of the brand you know it's kind of like spin spinning the wheel you don't know what the fuck you're gonna get and this is pretty dang good you know i've had some subpar palettes in my ipsy videos before uh, don't even get me started on that fireside palette if you want to see it it's somewhere in one of my ipsy reviews that was terrible but this one is great so i guess i don't really know what i'm doing with this eye look we're just kind of going into it with however the spirit moves me and this is how it's moving me right now you know so this is what we're doing we're gonna keep using the same brush and we're gonna take this really dark one called shadow and just kind of like you know really just like pack it in there for a little bit of a dramatic look there's a tiny bit of fallout but it's mostly landing on the tape i haven't done eyeshadow in so long like i said i've just been like a busy little bitch and i just like haven't like done it i don't know like that's just like that's it and i miss doing it because my beauty instagram has been kind of dead i'm kind of going back into a blaze a little bit just to like blend it out and you know i've just been kind of like focusing extra on my youtube especially once i hit 2000 subscribers and it's been doing really well after that and i was like well damn like we're gonna focus on this queen a little bit because um i'm definitely like super passionate about YouTube and I want to give it all of my attention you know like a needy girlfriend that's what YouTube is but like in a good way I'm like okay baby you can be needy again I'm just kind of now going back and forth between a blaze and shadow just to kind of like you know make everything more cohesive and blend it out so we got like a bunch of different bright beautiful and bodacious colors going on here and I kind of want to go for the blue one but then solstice is also so pretty so golden ray too girl damn why are so many of these nice all right i gotta sit and reflect on what i'm gonna do so we're gonna take some solstice which is this one and we're gonna get a little bit of a flat brush going on what is this one called the js11 and we are going to pack it like around that area the outer third of my lid so let's see how the um shimmers are shimmers aren't showing up as well as the um mattes are these are like pretty durable uh shadows though like i'm really like shoving my brush in there as hard as i can and it's not breaking or anything the shimmers are like you know being held together because that's kind of annoying whenever you have like a shimmer shade and it just like falls to pieces when you like look at it the wrong way and we're just gonna kind of just like you know put that out there 
that's cute and then I, again i don't know what i'm doing so we're gonna just take this blue this glittery blue and infinite and we're gonna put that on like the rest of my lid kind of and see how it looks oh mama mia pizzeria that is so pretty what the fucking shit that is so pretty again there's some fallout but you know what i'm gonna give the fallout a little pass because this is really pretty wow okay that is really nice so we're gonna go back to the little blendy brush and just blend out the edges of this blue a little bit maybe we'll go into a blaze a little bit and i'm just kind of like putting it up there and i'm gonna get a smaller flat brush just a little bit smaller this one doesn't have any name it just looks like that and we're gonna take this golden ray this one right here now you see that that's pretty bougie and i'm gonna stick it oh this is like a golden topper that is sick Okay, so this one like comes out as like literally like big chunks of gold, which I wasn't expecting to be honest, but we're gonna just kind of like stick her right there. Let her have fun, let her join the party. Yeah, I'm just like kind of sticking this in the inner corner, giving it a little bit of glow in there. You see that? I kind of want to see what this reflection one looks like. That's what reflection is. It's just like a regular one. And then we're gonna swatch pink sands because I'm curious about her. Pink sands. Looks like that. Pretty interesting. I kind of like, I don't know why, but what if I took pink sands on my finger and put it on top of the blue and just like see like what I'm thinking. It's kind of like covering up the blue, but then you can still kind of see the blue under there because this is kind of just like a glitter topper. And I think that looks cool. So just to like, you know, make sure everything is looking like what it needs to, taking a blaze a little bit again. And we're gonna just make sure that is up there. And then we're gonna take some more shadow. <sighs> Like shadow in there again and I am a happy woman. We have a new eyeliner. This is the Lauren Conrad, and it's just the eyeliner, you know, very creative. Um, usage, shake well before use, hold the brush at a slanted angle, start from the inner corner and glide brush along the lash line for a fine exact lines, press lightly for thicker bold lines, add more pressure. Perfectly lined, lined your lashes with rich color that stays true through wear with its lightweight non-smearing formula. Feel good about it's safe for contact lens wearers. Ophthalmologist, tested and dermatologist tested it's cruelty free recyclable so it's in the color onyx so i'm guessing it's just gonna be black because you know onyx is usually associated with black i have an onyx stone over there but i don't feel like looking for it but this eyeliner just has like a light pink packaging with gray text that says lauren conrad again it's just called the eyeliner and that's all it says so shake well it's an eyeliner pen thank god because as we know mommy is very well versed in her eyeliner pens that's what it looks like and we are going to to do Maddie's classic wing. If you want a full tutorial on how I do it, I have a video out about it. I will link it down below. So let's, hello guys, I'm not even capping. Nothing came out, that's, oh wait. I'm wearing an onyx necklace there. Now we all know what onyx looks like, but not this. Why is nothing coming out? Can I swatch on my hand? I have to press down like really hard for anything to come out. See, those strokes right there was me just using my normal pressure for eyeliner. And that was me pressing down as hard as I could. I'm just like waiting maybe like, okay, maybe it just needed a minute because now it's coming out. So let's try it again. But you know, that still shouldn't have happened. Um, That was kind of weird, but now it's working great. So let's do my eyeliner like how I usually do it. And I like that it's like, it's not like a felt tip. It is like a bunch of little bristles. So it's gliding on really smoothly, you know? This is one of the most easy to use brushes I've ever gotten in an eyeliner ever. And I'm not even capping. And that's a lot coming from me because I've used so many different eyeliner pens. It's going on pretty well on top of glitter eyeshadow, which some liquid eyeliners kind of like panic and freak out whenever you do that with them. But this one is doing a great job of holding it together. I think I'm already like done with that was like the quickest it ever took me to do my eyeliner because like usually felt tips like I said kind of panic and I have to like go over it a bunch of times so tape reveal um we're also gonna clean up the tape marks a little bit 
eyeliner looks absolutely stunning. I am a huge fan of this eyeliner. I'm not gonna lie, I got a little buggy when uh, it wasn't coming out at first, but you know, it did what it could. So I'm actually just gonna like really quickly just like stick some eyeshadow under my eye, um, just so like, you know, it looks a little more like well put together. Um, so we are going to take this little flat brush. It's uh, the No Fudge Just Smudge by MOTD. And we're gonna take that dark shadow color and put it in my waterline first. Great, so we got that in my waterline. Now we're gonna take this brush. It is the um, JS13 brush by Morphe, which is a small blending brush. And we're gonna take a blaze and stick it under my little eye, just like that. We're gonna take a little bit of Horizon, also blend that under my eye. And that's it. Okay, no, actually we gotta take one more thing. We're gonna go back to this um, small flat brush with the fishtail on it, this one. And we're gonna just take some, actually we didn't really put reflection on me. So we're gonna just take a little bit of that and put it in my inner eye corner just to brighten it up a little bit. And I think that's it. Cool, so I just wanted to do that really quick. So far, this palette is great, and this eyeliner is actually kind of rocking my world. You know how much I hate um, shiny eyeliners, like when they dry shiny, and this one isn't doing that at all. It is, I'm gonna back up a little bit. I am just realized I got like super all up in your guys' grill. It is just doing an amazing job, and I'm so proud of her. So, we have one more product, which is a highlighting and blush palette, so I'm just gonna quickly put on some bronzer and then we'll, we'll look at that product. Okay, sweet, we got some bronzer on. So now we are going to look at this palette. And again, it is a highlighting and blush palette. So it is by Hip Dot. It looks like this, it's super pretty. And it's the Sun Goddess palette for shade face palette. You're a sun goddess even if you haven't spent time in the sun lately. Create the ultimate sun kiss with these sun kiss. Create the ultimate sun kiss. I feel like it look should be there, but you know, with these four highlight blush shades in a soft blendable formula. Yeah, that's all it says. So let's take it out of this thing and give it a little look-see. So let's open it up and we got a couple of fun things going on here. Let me take out this little plastic cover. So they all are a little bit shimmery, except for this one. It's not super shimmery, but there's a tiny bit in there. Um, so these are more so like, I think these could be like blush highlights right here. This is definitely a blush and this is definitely a highlight. So this is Sunbeam, Golden Hour, um, Radiance, and then Sheer. So we got a lot of fun things going on. Let me take the cover off the mirror because that shit is satisfying. Let me do that, let me do that. Wow. Did I say we had, no, we have two more palettes, um, products left. This isn't the last one. So first we're gonna put on some, blu some blush. So I'm taking the um, LR342 Contour Blending Brush. Um, I don't know who the fuck it's by. Uh, La Rouge, La Rousse. Um, and we're gonna actually go in with some, maybe I should mix together Radiance and Sunbeam, put these two together. And we're gonna make that a little blush shade. So we're gonna go into a little bit of Radiance, a little bit of Sunbeam, and then a little bit of radiance again. Knock off some excess and see what's going on. So, I have one complaint already right off the bat. I personally think we shouldn't make blushes so damn pigmented like eyeshadows because like now I have to just like knock it the fuck off for it to look like how I want it to look. And now that cheek makes me look like a damn clown and I am not super pleased about that. Even, look how much I knocked off. So that's it, like, you know, again, like, thank you for being pigmented, so now I don't have to use as much product, but it just kind of, like, is hard for me, I guess. I don't know, now I gotta try to figure out how to lighten this up a little bit. So we're just gonna, like, go over it with my sponge a little bit, and if it's a little extra today, that's fine. I like a lot of blush anyways, because um, that's just, like, the look I like to go for. You know, it showed up very pigmented. I always put some on my nose. I'm not even dipping back in the palette. I'm sure there's enough on this brush for me to just do this for long enough and then yeah, it'll show up on my nose. I always put a fuck ton of blush on my nose. Yeah, that's it. It's not really a huge complaint, but I just like, you know what I mean? I feel like face palettes can be a little more easy going than eyeshadow palettes. So now we are going to go into, I'm gonna mix Golden Hour and Sheer and make that my highlight. So I'm using the um, JS4 brush, which is just one of these dudes. And we are going to take both of them. See what's going on. 
So these are gorgeous. Do y'all see that shit? It looks amazing and no complaints there it just looks great um yeah no good palette i just wish the blushes would take it a little bit easier on like you know the whole hyper pigmentation type of thing going on so now i'm gonna put on my mascara lashes and brow gel and then we'll come back for our last product and it's just gonna be so much fun okay everybody uh now we have the last product which is a lip balm gloss thing by tart c uh jelly glaze anytime lip mask so okay that's right this is kind of like a lip mask but it's also like you can just like wear it whenever and it just looks like a lip gloss and this one is in toasted coconut so we're gonna crack this queen open up bit um it has vitamin e algae squalene hydroluronic acid marine plant collagen 12-hour hydration and dermatologist tested so there's some crazy shit going on in here i don't know but ugh, using my own saliva to kind of like clean off my lips a little bit y'all ever do that because i know i do um so yeah it doesn't have like any directions it just kind of looks like this so we are going to put it on and my deepest and most sincerest apologies for hitting you like that that was a little rude let's see it looks like it does have a color to it oh okay hold on so it does have like light color to it and i actually really like that because it just like kind of brings some some life back into your lips you know oh it says my battery's dying so yes that is the final product it feels nice it's not super sticky and apparently it's like amazing for your lips so we are going to just fly on some setting spray real quick because my battery is dying and now we are going to give my final thoughts everybody so we're gonna back up a little bit so the first product we used was the hand cream it kind of came off of my hands because like i said i was using my hands a lot my elbows feel good it doesn't feel greasy anymore but i definitely wasn't a fan of how greasy it felt when i first used it you know um so yeah this is the keep it handy hand cream by glow on fifth beauty yeah i don't know it depends on like you know if you like that after greasiness feeling of like hand cream some of them have that some of them don't um this eyeshadow palette was amazing there was a little bit of fallout you know but mainly just for the glitter shades um but everything showed up super nicely i love what i did with it you could see kind of the blue in there but then i put some of the pink on top there's a gold thing going on it is just so nice and i'm definitely going to use this a lot um like i said usually with third party brands or not third party like indie brands that you don't know that well you don't know what you're gonna get but this is a really good one and uh, I'm definitely a big fan of it. I'm gonna be using it a lot. This eyeliner was amazing. It actually is like kind of like might be one of my new favorite eyeliners because it has everything I love about eyeliner. It doesn't dry shiny. It goes on super easily and I was able to do my eyeliner probably like in record time today just because of how easy the application was. It started out really dry which was kind of annoying but it's also like I don't know shit happens so it's not like a huge problem but that was like a little weird and I wasn't expecting that. Lauren Conrad eyeliner dude that was smacking my titties for sure. So this blush and highlighter palette by hip dot um the blush was a little intense a little on the intense side i wish it wasn't so hyper pigmented because i feel like if you literally just like waved your brush over it you would get some pigment um the highlighter is super pretty though i mean you can see it right there that is really nice huge fan of it um the, these two highlighter shades are super great this is also a highlighter but i mixed these two together just because i thought this alone would be a little too dark for me i'm really i like the highlighter a lot so you know the blush is a little crazy but you know that's that's it other than that it's a pretty good palette and then the final thing which i just used is the tartsy um jelly glaze lip mask lip gloss thing um i like that it has a color even though it's a lip mask so it's not just like you know clear you can have fun with it and it's also good for your lips it's not like super sticky and annoying and i don't know i'm obsessed with having soft lips um because one time i had a traumatizing experience when i was in fifth grade i went on a camping trip and i forgot lip balm and then my lips were literally like peeling because they were chapped and i remember it hurt so bad and it looked so bad and ever since then i've been obsessed with lip balms and lip masks and keeping my lips hydrated and shit um but that is it for july ipsy 2021 video um i'm pretty pleased with this bag i know i said in my last ipsy video it's my birth month and if they drop the ball i'm going to be upset i think i look pretty cute i do look very glowy which was like their whole thing they were going for this month so i hope you guys enjoyed this video 
video. Stay in school, stay cool, eat your vegetables, and um, I'm all good on my end. If you guys are good, then um, we'll end it right here. Bye.